Hello, everybody, it's Omega Recon on gaming. I got some gaming news for everybody. So, for the past few days, the ARMS beta has been going on, and I've been playing it for the last two days, and what did I think? Um, honestly, it's fun. I have enjoyed myself. With the, the characters that are there, I really enjoyed myself. Honestly, just, you know, the, uh, so I've been using the, uh, two num uh, Joy-Cons. I'm gonna call them, that's what, the two Joy-Cons, and you play like this, and you simulate boxing. You, you can throw curves, straight punches, grabs, um, there's running, sprinting, uh, you can... You can even grab people in the air, or punch people in the air. It's it's pretty fun. There's you know different types of fists that you can swap out. It's it's really uh it's really fun. And uh, you know there's a few more days for the beta, so if you have a Nintendo Switch. Go download the game and go play it. Uh, when it, you know, it's an hour each time, so I had to get used to getting back on. And <sighs> honestly, you know, I already work out, you know, my legs, so working out, getting my arms a good workout was nice for an hour. Uh, honestly, I really enjoyed it. It was fun. By the time I'm done, I'm ready to stop. So my friend Matt's gonna get arms. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll, like, really enjoy it together. I can't wait for us to both try it. Currently, he's sick. Uh, if not, we would be both playing this together. I'd like to see how that goes. Um, so, another news for the Switch. So, apparently, a Switch was dropped from a 1,000 feet and survived, and it works. Wow, that's pretty neat. Also, the Nintendo Switch... Which will be, of course, having its online service coming by 2018, which is a delay, but it's fine. Um, they're going to be testing out features throughout the year, um, like, you know, stuff. Oh, honestly, I played online with the beta of um, ARMS. It's a little spotty, but I think it's the game's problem. I don't know. I might try racing with... Um, Fast RMX and see how that is. Uh, what else? Oh, the price. The price of online. So I think it's $4 for the one month. Two months, it's $8. And for an, the entire year, it's 20 bucks. That nails Sony and Microsoft 60 bucks for a year. And they still offer new games that you can have for the rest of your life. Take that, Sony and Microsoft. And if, if, if Nintendo's service is good, you, Sony, Microsoft, you better fucking watch yourselves. And if they can play the same games that they could play on PlayStation, you better watch your asses. And this is on the go, too, so... Yeah. Sony, Sony might need, and uh, Microsoft need to consider maybe dropping that price from sixty dollars because that's a full price game. It's bullshit that you have to pay sixty dollars to already. But like Nintendo's at least a little bit reasonable for twenty bucks. Like twenty bucks is reasonable. And if you want to pay one dollar, like four dollars a mo one month, and do it like that, that's fine. And then, but for the people who just want to say screw it and get it out of the way, you know. And of course, people, I don't know why people are getting so angry for Nintendo for jumping on the, paying the service. If it improves, if it improves the service, first of all, that's good. If it, if, if you know. But, here's the thing. It needs to be good. That's all there is to it. It needs to be good. The problem is, the new uh, voice chatting sets is so stupid. Okay, so, well, my phone is what I'm using to record, so I can't use it. But what do you need? So, you need to hook up. 
for visual aid. So a headset needs to connect to a little like adapter from here to my Nintendo Switch and through my phone and through my phone and that means my phone's got to be charged and my Switch has got to be charged so are you fucking serious Nintendo? You can't have just done what Sony and Microsoft are doing and just, I don't know, make it wireless or at least just let me hook it up just to the Nintendo Switch directly and stream it all from there. Was that too hard? Really? <sighs> so stupid, Nintendo. Sometimes they're, they're great. Like, the Switch is a great product. And then they make stupid bone-ass moves like the fucking... Voice chat, like, come on. Come on. They make so many steps forward and so many steps back. Ugh, if Nintendo would just get their shit together in the right way, if they would just stop shooting themselves in the foot, it's like, we don't need unnecessary add ons. It's like, it's like taking away the, um,. The headphone jack on the phone on the on an iPhone. Why would you do that? It's stupid, and it makes us paying a hundred and fifty dollars for wireless headphones. <gasps> Fuck that shit. No. So the so the service is a good service. The Nintendo will be a good so if the connection is good. So, I'll see when I'm playing the games over the past next coming months. Um, and see if it improves. And... But for now, it's, it's pretty good. It's it, it seemed to... I didn't have that much lag. I had some disconnects, but I, the game is still in beta, so... I let, I let it slide. But for the most part, I had a very enjoyable experience. Um... So, if it's that smooth, you know, I mean, it was pretty buttery smooth. I, I, I had no frame problems. Like, that was the thing I was not suffering from. Disconnects, yes. But I have disconnects when I'm playing on PlayStation Network, so. It's the, to be expected. And they're still ironing out the kinks, so I'll let this gray spirit go and see how it goes from there. So, I'm really looking forward to ARMS. Um, and E3's coming up, so me and CaliGold45 will be having a discussion. Look forward to that. I thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Oh, 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 oh.